Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is um, one of our weekly videos that we have here at the JFI channel. Um, this week's actually been pretty insane. I've been getting ready to ship my Rams all over Australia. I have all sorts of packaging equipment everywhere, including an oxygen tank and, you know, everything ready for uh, shipment. So it's been a very crazy week um, and the beginning of the unit holidays. So um, today we're going to be talking about um, dither fish and how this is very important for uh, not just the breeder but the keeper and breeder if you if you like because as hobbyists we you know if we choose to go down the breeding path um, sometimes we lose track of the enjoyments of the hobby and the best way to remedy this is to get dither fish so if you don't know what dither fish are dither fish are uh, the small tetras, schooling fish uh, that don't pose a threat to your uh, focal point fish and in fact do the opposite of being dangerous and actually make the environment a lot calmer for your rams in this case to come out and enjoy the environment that you have made for them. So if you followed the advice from all my other videos um, and you're setting up your tank and you put a heap of driftwood lots of silica sand, um, you know, all sorts of things, pebbles, rocks, heaps of plants, then chances are if you just put a pair of rams in there, they're going to hide until they spawn and then something goes wrong with the spawn and then the male or the female, depending on who's the aggressor, will start attacking them or attacking each other. And this is a very typical case of having only two fish in the tank uh, which is increasing the susceptibility of aggression. So, without further ado, let's get into this video to help you guys uh, kind of grasp the idea of dither fish and see some potential dither fish that you might like to use. So let's get into it. So the first one I'm going to talk about are cardinal tetras or charakins in general. So if the, those of you who don't know, charakins are a big group of tetra-like fish that are from South America and they come in all different shapes and sizes. And I recommend making sure that you have at least six of each in a school. So yeah, that's the charakins. one is the killifish and there are many beautiful types of killifish as you can see by these pictures there are thousands of types i'm pretty sure sorry that was a message um and they all have varying levels of breeding and keeping but i'm going to be talking about the clown killifish and these guys are top dwelling fish just like the panchaks and very very small fish but very very beautiful so these guys would be perfect as they stay away from the benthopelagic fish, such as the rams, and they create a sense of security, whilst looking really beautiful with their displays. So definitely consider the clown killies. Okay, so one thing we do have to uh, decipher between is dither fish and target fish. And we've spoken about the dither fish, and you can see that they create a sense of security for rams. Um, in this case, or any focal fish that you're looking at. Um, but target fish, it's a bit of a weird concept, but you're allowing um, the, I guess, cohabitation between two fish that kind of dislike each other to the point where it inadvertently creates a successful breeding result in that they aim their aggression at that fish and that fish aims their aggression back to the point where they're almost equally matched. They don't actually hurt each other. They just keep all their attention, their aggression on that fish, keeping that fish away from the spawning site. Um, it's actually a very, very interesting concept. So I'm gonna give you some uh, potential fish that you could look into. Uh, there's quite a few different ones, but I'm gonna do the main ones that I would choose and I'll talk about the reasons why. So you'll notice that I chose Cory Catfish, which is also a benthopelagic fish. And this is mainly due to the fact that, um, you know, there are so many different types as well, which appeals to the, the hobbyist keeper. But, you know, you can get the smaller types like the panda quarries that you can see on your screen now. And these guys act as kind of like little stubborn 
puppy dogs that just ram around into your tank, the rams are allowed to, you know, tell them and put them in their place when they get too much, especially when they have spawns. And these guys are just so hardy and, you know, they're very, very tolerant of um, a little bit of a knock around from the rams. So I would uh, encourage getting smaller types of quarries, not too big as a two, like, Albino quarries, I believe, get really, really large, uh, as well as the bronze quarries, so I'd stay away from those types. But definitely, like, the pandas, flagtails, uh, bandit quarries, they're, they're really cool quarries to, um, to get into. Now, just quickly, um, rainbow fish are always a great option, but there's so many different types. You know, you've got the threadfin, which is a more ornate type, and you've got the smaller species like the dwarf neon rainbow. And in fact, these are the two types that I would recommend for target fish for rams because they're perfect schooling fish and just very peaceful just in general. Now, this made me really surprised. I have heaps of rams that I house together and I've been asked so many questions about it and it's just probably the best target fish situation you could ever put your rams in because they actually just become such peaceful fish they get into their territory mode you know they lay their eggs in their little spot they guard that spot and that's it and the rams stay at each, out of each other's ways because they respect territory boundaries and another aspect is they're just very beautiful fish to have so if you have one uh, pair of rams that are aggressive i suggest you get more ram pairs you could get different varieties there are so many so yeah. Alrighty everyone, so thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Um, bit of an informative video, which is nice. And uh, please keep the suggestions coming. Uh, it's always very helpful and yeah, I'll just be ticking through them as I go. Um, so today we saw uh, dither fish and target fish. And um, yeah, just really interesting concepts that we have there for making sure that there's a bit of peace and calm in your tank environment. So if you have any comments, make sure to comment them. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Um, and until the next video, happy fish keeping.